Hi, I'm Tim, the cheap 3D printer. A couple weeks ago, uh, we opened up our maker box for the month of February, which came at the beginning of March. It's uh, now the end of February, the Mar the or the end of March, sorry, the uh, March one has not come yet. Hopefully it'll be here before uh, the end of March and before the beginning of April. But in that uh, last maker uh, geek box, the 3D geek box, um, they sent random filaments uh, to people. And the random filament that I got was uh, natural, clear uh, filament, which is fine. I just, uh, I don't have a lot of use for a natural uh, clear filament. I don't do a lot of fil uh, printing that would necessitate this filament. So um, I got to thinking, what am I going to do with this filament? I've got this filament up in my cabinet. What am I going to do with clear natural filament? And uh, what came to me was a video by uh, Angus on Maker's Muse. And um, I think it's probably a year plus old. Um, but he took some filament, he took some white filament, and he spray painted it and printed with it. And it came out pretty cool. So I thought to myself, that's the perfect thing that I can do with this clear filament. I can spray paint it and make it a color. And... Um, so I decided to do something uh, rainbow-ish, something that uh, would have multiple colors through it. And uh, so I spray painted uh, the, uh, the filament. And uh, here's, here's what I did. Filament. Spray paint. Start with some black. Or some, I'm sorry, not some black, some purple. Shake it up real good. We're going to let that dry for a few minutes, then we're going to go print with it. So, you can see that I spray painted the filament, and uh, I took it and I printed with it. Now, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this is not an endorsement to do this. If you clog your nozzle, if you ruin your printer, it's at your own risk, it's your own deal. I didn't tell you that you should do this. I'm just telling you it's possible. And so I printed with it and uh, my first print failed. Unfortunately, I gave it to my son. I can't find it. So can't show you that. But my first print actually did fail. It didn't clog the nozzle, but uh, I actually spray painted that filament way too much, put too much spray paint on it. And the adhesion was really bad. So it finished the whole print actually, all the way to the top, finished the whole print. And uh, when I went to take it off the build plate, it just kind of just came apart layer by layer. But what I was printing was Clint the Chameleon. And I'll put the link down in the description below. Clint the Chameleon uh, is a uh, MakerBot uh, model that they put together. And um, so I printed him again. I uh, went and redid some filament, lightened up the spray paint a little bit. And uh, he came out absolutely awesome. Um, so you can see, uh, see here, I spray painted him purple. He's got green. Uh, he's got a little red there at the bottom. You can see the, the clear filament starting to show more up here at the top. Um, but he's got some yellows in here. Uh, he's just absolutely cool. I chose a chameleon because chameleons change colors. So if you got rainbow filament, why not print a chameleon, right? And uh, he came out really cool. And this is what it looks like if you print pretty much immediately. You need to wait till it's not tacky anymore, until it's not going to, you know, come off on your hands or in, in anything else or in your Bowden tube or anything. But if you print it relatively quickly, this is what uh, 
it comes out with, comes out like. Now, if you wait till that paint fully cures, if you wait, say, overnight, like I did, and I went to reprint it, you come up with something that looks like this. And I don't know if this is more cool or less cool or equivalently cool. I don't know. Uh, but what I can tell you is that it's just different. Um, the clear filament shows through and it's got these flakes of color um, all through it, which to me is, is pretty stinking cool. Um, but he's still clear. So two very different results you can see here of these two chameleons. One, when the uh, paint is fresh and not fully cured, and the other after the paint is cured, and you get two completely different looks. Now, keep in mind, like I said, keep in mind, if you paint put too much paint, the layer adhesion is terrible, and it will not work. Um, you'll take the, the uh, print off the bed, and it will, be, it will fall apart. Um, when I took the first one off, his legs just came right off. Um, his the top of his tail came right off. Um, it will not work if you have too much paint. So really lightly with the paint, and you get really cool results. You get this cool rainbow effect uh, going through your print. Uh, reds, yellows, greens, uh, purples, blues. Um, and if you wait, you get this cool clear effect. Um, still got the colors in there, but it's more like flakes of colors through it. And it's just a very different result. Two different results, two very different results from the same deal. So if you want to kind of hack your clear filament, paint it. Spray paint it. I've seen some uh, things on, uh, on, the, on Reddit um, that people are using marker and putting marker on it and uh, coming up with colors. So just a cool little hack for your uh, filament. Try it. I'm not endorsing it. I'm not telling you that it's not going to damage your printer. It might damage your printer. It didn't mine. My printer printed just fine afterward. Um, but it could damage your printer. So you do this at your own risk and uh, enjoy. So that's all I got for you. That's what I'm going to be doing with this filament over time. I'll paint more and do more. Um, I'll come up with some different things uh, for this clear filament. But that's what I'm going to be doing with it because I really don't have a whole lot of use for natural clear uh, filament. That's all I got for you today. If you like this video, uh, check out my other ones. Subscribe below. Hit the like button. Uh, if you so choose, if you're, uh, into, uh, if you're going to be buying something um, on GearBest, use my link below. It helps out this channel just a little bit. Um, every little bit that comes into, the ch into that link uh, is going to go back into the channel to help make the channel better. Uh, maybe get more filaments, maybe get more printers, maybe do more stuff, more equipment, whatever it takes to make the channel better. Um, I just want to be out there for you. But uh, in the meantime, keep printing and keep printing cheap.